Hello, 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 and welcome to Poncho Thorn number 71. Woo, y'all, how y'all doing out there? We are finally getting some hints of spring. <laughs> but you can still wear a jacket. Hopefully y'all doing well out there on hump day. What's happening, y'all? Hey, y'all, we doing something a little different today. So uh, we're going to have some questions and answers from you folks out there that's been following us. For all of these shows, if you get a chance, go to uh, Facebook at Poncho, uh, Larry Poncho Brown, and Facebook at The Art of Poncho. And there's a link there for you to join the show if you want to ask me a question today. Not just post your stuff on the screen, but now, if you're decent, just come on the screen and we'll share you live with everybody else so we can know we got real people out there. People are coming into the room, so I'm just going to say, hey. Hey, um, wow, what's happening new? I have been very, very busy, but before I start bragging about how busy I am, what are y'all drinking out there? You know, I try, I'm trying a different uh, brand of ginger ale. This was given to me by my homeboy, Mr. Dion J, the artist. He gave me a case of these uh, fever tree ginger ales. So that's what I'm drinking today. I don't know what y'all drinking. Let me know what you're drinking out there, y'all. Other than that, uh, woo, this is a typical hump day. Uh, how's all my people out there doing? Oh, then my sister is tuned in early. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? Uh, Karen Y. Buster, you know, uh, I got some pretty special people in my life. Uh, uh, Karen Y. Buster, the notorious KYB, as I call her, she stopped by and bought me, uh, like a lunch today, man. Some, some fried, uh, whiting. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Get to a man through a stomach. That's my homegirl. She's always got my back. Hey, Jackie. Um, yeah, uh, everybody's greeting each other. Look, y'all, go. I got a, a a link on my Facebook page. Karen Wildbuster, come on in and talk to me for a second. Jackie Brown, if you're decent, yeah, go on to my Facebook page. Click that link. Come into my studio. I'm going to put you on a date so you can ask me an intelligent question. Or rib me about something I said weeks ago. Hey, Miss Richardson, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Khabibi Ajanku. She's been doing her shows on Tuesday. Hopefully, y'all been tuning in. She's been giving all kinds of deals, y'all. Hope y'all been paying attention. We got folks still coming into the room, so I'm just going to say hey. Um, I'm wearing a shirt by Keystone Corner. Keystone Corner is a one of the hottest jazz clubs in Baltimore City. That's right, y'all. 
And uh, they happen to have some of my work. So, you know, they got to be cool. They got my work all throughout the whole place. It's one of the best places to see jazz. If you come into Baltimore, check out Keystone Corner. That's right. Hey, Miss Hills, what's happening? My homegirl from way back in the day, she is an artist extraordinaire. And I ain't going to tell her business, but I'm so proud of her right now. She's got some real good news as of late. Hey, where are my brave people at? I want y'all to go to my Facebook page. Either one of them doesn't matter, my, my personal page or my business page. There's a link to the show. Click that link, you'll come into my studio. I'm gonna put you on the screen so we can talk to you live. You might have some questions you wanna ask. You might have something you wanna say. All I'm gonna ask, please, just be nice to me. Just be nice to me. Pancho needs some niceness. Hey, y'all, we're gonna go get into the house rules for today. Our house is very simple. If you've been in watching us, and you've participated in the show before you've heard from me. If you've not participated in the show, we have an item number that shows in the lower right-hand corner of any piece that we show in the air. All I want you to do is write that item number and the word soul. You ain't got to worry about the title, the size, none of that. Just put the item number soul. I know it's yours. We work on the honor system around here anyway. So once you do that, it's coming to you. All right? And I want you to leave us your, your email address, especially if you're new to the show, your email address and shipping address, because I have no idea where you are. And if you are out there working under a screen name, whoo, I got a couple of folks who work under screen names. They make it very, very difficult for me because it's hard for me to find them at all. If you are watching from uh, YouTube, which we are now broadcasting in four locations, the Art of Poncho Studio on Facebook, Larry Poncho Brown on Facebook, the Art of Poncho on Facebook and YouTube. But if you're ordering from YouTube, we got some special instructions for you too. But just remember the item number, the word soul in the comment screen, and we got you, all right? Yeah, that's the house rules. And then we got uh, basic shipping rules, you know, $15 flat rate per ship. But we very seldom ever have to ship two packages. But if you order two different types of items, you know, we take pride in making sure you get your stuff in mint condition. So yeah, if it, if it requires two packages, you'll just be charged twice so you'll know what's happening. Okay. Uh, if you are uh, looking at from YouTube, and we do have a couple of viewers that look from YouTube, um, just send us your uh, your selections to LarryPonchoBrown at gmail.com. So as you watch the show, just jot the number down, take that number, ship that thing to me on uh, uh, Gmail, and I can make sure I get you your items. That's what's most important is that I'm able to catch you. So, so far, ain't nobody brave out there. That's right. I said it. Oh, we also now... You may get a, a PayPal invoice from us once you give us the item number and the word sold. Uh, but you don't have to pay through PayPal if you don't want to. We just do that for our records. You can send us through Cash App, too, if you decide that's how you want to pay. So those are basically the house rules, y'all. How y'all doing? Where are the brave people at? If you're brave out there, you've been watching the show, you want you got something you want to say, hey, go to my Facebook page. Click that link. Show up in the studio. Where are my brave folk at? Karen Y. Buster, come on the air. I know you know how it works. Jackie, I know you're looking all beautiful, all beautiful. Just click that link. Come on in the studio. Let me put you on the air. Ask your question or two. You get your chance to embarrass me once in your life. You decide you want to do that. Other than that, y'all, we're going to get ready to get this party started. So, uh, hey, what do I have coming up? I got a couple of exhibitions I've been getting ready for. If you've been watching my Facebook page, I've been getting ready for this exhibition that I got called Bridges, Faces of Innocence. It's going to take place at the um, Children's National Hospital, who are going to actually watch that. They're going to house that show for about six months, y'all. I, mean, I don't know if you know, but it's very, very rare to get a six-month commitment from anybody on an exhibition. So that's going to be a really wonderful thing. Um, and, and what it's going to, we're going to do is that we're going to use this opportunity to raise some funds for these students that I connected with when I was in Ghana. So here's a little bit of information about that exhibition.
That's right, y'all. That exhibition is coming up real soon. I'm going to be giving you some more information to that as time goes on. So make sure you check us out on my Facebook page for details about that show. Hey, y'all. I'm looking for my brave folks out there. Go ahead. Uh, go to my Facebook page. Either one of them. There's a link right now to StreamYard. Click that link. You'll show up in my studio. I'll put you on the screen and I can introduce you to my other folks, all of my real folks out there. That's right. I need somebody brave. We're trying something new, but you know, some folks can be kind of scared. That's right. Y'all be talking all that stuff behind the screen, but I want you to come in front of the screen. So yeah, fantastic, y'all. Getting this whole thing together. We're going to get ready to get this party started. Item number one is a piece called the Poncho Hologram Sticker. You know, you can take this, put this on the back of your iPad. You know, your iPad look kind of drab. It's got that Apple on the back or it's got that, you know, you know, just you got all these cases, you got all these pads and, and, and laptops and not lab top. That's what Karen Buster says, lab top. It's not a lab top, okay? Anyway, this sticker is perfect for your, <laughs> your look, if you're going to buy this sticker, then it's a lab top. <laughs> Item number one, y'all, is the Poncho Hologram Sticker. It retails for just $4 if you like that. Just put item number one and we started the show. Item number one and sold. And uh, this piece will be coming your way. Hey, y'all, that's right. Go to that link to my page. You can come in my studio and I put you on the screen. Item number two. Hey, y'all, calling all Deltas, calling all Deltas. That's right. We are getting ready for the National Convention coming up in September. I'm going to be partnering with my girl, the Notorious KYB. Hey, Karen, come on and tell us a little bit about the show. That's right. I know you're sitting there with your fuzzy slippers and your hairs all over your head because you're home from work. But I want you to come on, click that link, go to my page so we can explain to these people about the convention. But anyway, <clears throat> we will be doing the Delta Convention. The national, uh, it's a it's a regional convention. We got chased out of Louisiana on the last national. Long story. But these cards is a note card box set. Features about 12 cards, 12 envelopes. For all you sorors out there that need to communicate, that's 12 different people you can enlighten. Item number two is the Delta Sigma Theta note card set. It's a box. If you like that, just put item number two and sold. And the note card box will be yours for just... That's right, y'all. $15. Item number two and sold. And that box will be coming your way. Item number three. Hey, you know, we've been hyping y'all up and uh, making sure you guys stay engaged. We got this create something concept that we've been working on for about a year. I'm getting ready to do some t-shirts to say that too, because <coughs> excuse me, through COVID. Uh, one thing we all did while we were on lockdown is a lot of us had to tap into our creative selves. That's right, y'all. So, um, hey, Karen Buster. You know, Karen's kind of uh, on, on the medium of speed when it comes to this technology thing. Uh, hey, Karen, go to my Facebook page, Larry Poncho Brown, or my uh, Facebook business page, Larry of uh, the Art of Poncho. It's top of the page, just the little video. You will see a whole post there that says, hey, be a guest on the show. It is a StreamYard link. Click one of those buttons and come on on here and talk to me. Back to um, creep some. So, you know, a lot of us artists, we were fine. Through the whole lockdown, we was painting with smiles on our face. Y'all was the one tripping. Y'all was the one worried about the world ending. We had quiet peace and had a reason to be home. And, and we had our own built-in therapy. That's right. I would say that the a COVID year was probably the most productive year for most artists. I can, I'm can, i not to speak for myself. I've heard other artists say the same thing. But this Create Something concept came as about uh, around that time. And uh, we're trying to now encourage people to really put your ideas down and to bring them to fruition. Because a lot of people got ideas that get away from you. One book is lying. One book is online. You get both books for $15. I'm number three. The Create Something journal set. If you like that, just put item number three and sold and that piece. Both of those will be. And see, I keep one by my computer in case y'all think I'm just jiving. See, look, see, I got one. I got the line one on mine. And I keep notes on my artists when I'm doing consultations. You know, I got some secret little stuff in here. I might write a, a quote. You know, I really like doing quotes, y'all. So I write little quotes, got some blank things in here. But yeah, I use my own little, uh, and I have one at home. That I keep with me too. So 
Good way to get your ideas for item number three and sold, and that piece will be sent your way, and you can share one with somebody. Item number four. That's right, y'all. We're going to get to some prints. This one is, I'll be bringing them back every now and then. This is the Watching Over Us number one. Uh, you know, uh, as you can imagine, there's a thousand ways to create work nowadays with technology, and I started to, to uh, venture into digital art probably about three years ago. I bought my first app and started drawing with it. And this was from the first program. I mean, I'm using something now called Procreate, which is a lot more detailed than this. <coughs> Excuse me, I got tickle in my throat, y'all. So this one is called Watching Over Us. This whole concept of these interlocked faces is kind of a, it's kind of an ancestral connection thing that I do. I like to think that the ancestors are always with us. So I do a whole series of pieces and have all these faces interlocked and connected. Watching over us, number one, is uh, 13 by 19 inches. If you like that piece, just put item number four and sold. And uh, watching over us, number one, will be coming your way. Item number five is another piece I did in this series called Watching Over Us Number Two. That's right, Watching Over Us Number Two. If you like that piece, these two make an excellent set. Um, again, it's that whole ancestral concept. You see, I have a lot of geometric shapes and other um, African kind of motifs mixed within it. How many faces do you see? Wow. One, two, three, four. I'll let you count them all out. Item number five. If you like that piece, just put item number five and sold. And watching on Rust number two will be yours for just $20. That's right. If I didn't say it on the last one, watching over Rust number one also sells for $20. They both measure 13 by 19 inches. If you like that piece, just put item number five and sold. And watching over Rust number two will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. I'm hoping y'all going to take an opportunity to uh, fellowship with me. Please go to your Facebook, my Facebook page. Click that link and come into the studio so I can put you on screen. Moving into some of our prints, this one is a called item number six, A Common Vision. A Common Vision was actually created um, for a set of twins that I met in DC at a trade show many years prior. I did my first trade show and I had a piece in my booth that was the first real limited edition I had ever gotten printed. And it was entitled Twins. I did the piece Twins originally because I lost a set of twins in 1986. So here was this piece. It was my first print. I was at the show, I was nervous. I had never done anything like that before. I was completely out of my league. And um, two ladies walked up they looked at the piece and they both turned around to me simultaneously and they said, Pancho, we want to get this piece like they were sharing and they were twins. So I made a pact that every set of twins I met after that would receive a set of that those pieces. And um, we ended up giving like over 30 sets of those pieces to twins that we met at shows. And I have quite a few artists out there, uh, friends that are twins as well. This piece right here was actually commissioned by one of the twins to raise money for their high school called A Common Vision. As you know, in the Europa tradition, twins are good luck. That's why you see a lot of artifacts and African artifacts that have twins or a male and a female, or they have two identical figures. Or you'll see two figures with the same face, one body. Um, the concept of good luck is something that's always uh, you know, good in every culture, but this piece is entitled A Common Vision. My best friend on planet Earth, the mother of my son, has two twins. So um, this piece was actually modeled after the two of them. Item number six, A Common Vision. This piece is a limited edition. This one in the small side is 14 by uh, 20. I think the edition was like a thousand or something like that because that's what we were doing back in the day. Um, this piece today normally sells for $75 if you look it up on our website. But today you can get this piece of common vision for $30. It'll come with a certificate of authenticity. Item number six. That's right, y'all. Item number six and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Item number seven. That's right, y'all. It is spring. Hey, 
let me bring myself up here. If you are brave, you've been watching the show for a couple of weeks, and you know Poncho shenanigans, yes. You're very familiar with Poncho shenanigans, yes. Well, I got a link on my Facebook page that Karen why Buster can't find, or either she just broke down and took all the clothes off when she got home. Uh, so you can join me on the screen and have a little, little chit-chat. That's right, y'all. Hey, Miss uh, Carolyn Gray, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Hey, watching over me is in my bedroom. Fantastic. I want to let one the leggings you can tune in. I know you ain't got your fuzzy slippers on yet. Uh, as you can see, my girl Karen Y. Buster still searching for the link. That's my girl. Uh, what can I say? She's special. Uh, hey, Carolyn Johnson. For those of you that watched the show the last four weeks, Carolyn Johnson is a trivia queen. Now, last week, we gave the award to Khabibi Ajanku for one of the trivia questions. Khabibi Ajanku said um, Louisville, Kentucky. But then when I researched it, I found out that Miss Carolyn Johnson was right for four weeks in a row. She is. So I, I gave him, but I didn't, I didn't short anybody. They both got gifts. They should have got them in the mail. But I want to congratulate Miss Johnson. She is our undisputed trivia question queen. She's gotten it correct four weeks in a row. Now, uh, if any of you guys want to talk to me, just uh, you brave, go to my page, find that link. The first person, I got to see, that's how y'all, y'all got to be motivated. All right. So the first person to come on uh, and ask me an intelligent question, that's what, go to my Facebook page, Larry Poncho Brown, go to my Facebook page, my business page, The Art of Poncho on Facebook. Click that link, that StreamYard link, Come into the studio. The first person to ask me an intelligent question. We'll receive a free, a free, a free gift. That's how we're gonna do it. Cause y'all are not bro. Y'all sitting back. We got a full house, full room of people. That's right. Yeah, Miss Johnson, thank you again for tuning in. The undisputed trivia question champion. We're gonna have another trivia question today. Oh, but because I have to get deep on y'all now though. Send invites for ads. Uh, I don't know what that means, and I'm sure she will articulate that at another time. But if you can get on, I don't know if y'all having problems with that link. That link should allow you to get into the studio so you can come on the show. We're going to get back to item number seven. Item number seven is springtime, y'all. That's right. Item seven is actually... Uh, my one of our most popular pieces from my perseverance series called surrender in purple on a purple shirt that's right y'all purple on purple that's gotta be a bad shirt um these are part of our retro tea series we've only done two new retro teas retro teas are defined as uh teas that have full front image silk screen these were um first introduced in the early 90s and we just introduced them again in the last uh, couple of years spring is here y'all if you want to look in style item number seven is the surrender retro tea in purple if you like that t-shirt today is a special day to get it because it normally sells for 50 dollars today on punchathon number 71 you can get this piece for just whoo 35 dollars and that is for large xl 2XL and 3XL. No, I don't fault you for your larger sizes, except for if you order on the website, you're going to pay for that extra size. Not on Punchathon. One flat rate. Sorry, mediums. All of my small and medium folks, I'm sorry. These shirts probably not designed for you because the artwork is larger than you. So we do have pieces that accommodate smaller sizes, but on this particular one, these start at large. And please, when you send us the number, just put the item number with your size in the word. So if you don't put your size, I'm sending you like, like a 12X. That's right. That's right. Item number seven, y'all. If you like that piece, the Surrender Retro T in purple, just put item number seven in sold and that will be coming your way. Item number eight. Hey, uh, we got some new people in the house. Uh, Hey, what's happening out there, Miss Miller? Thank you so much for being the first time joining us on Poncho Thon. We have done 71 shows, and you made it on the 71st show. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. 
Oh, we got one bold, bad person just popped into the studio. So I'm going to let her get herself together before I bring her on the screen. We're encouraging our people, y'all, to start coming on the screen and talking to us a little bit. So we want to add somebody into the screen. Hey, what's happening, Miss Miss Leggins? Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you well. How are you doing? I'm good. Obviously, right. I've already did my hair. I didn't plan to be on camera. That's all right. I saw you swooped it together and pulled it up, so it's looking fantastic. What you, what, you haven't known me for a long time, so what you got to say? What, what what you got? What kind of question you got for me? Well, you know what I want? I want the key holders. The key holders? Why don't you sell those during Pancho Thon? Uh, you know what? That is a request that I will write down. We will put those to the show. We got, like, I think four or five different key holders. So I'm going to guarantee you one on this show. How about that? That's perfect. I know you got a question for me. Come on, you got to hit the one intelligent question. You already get French for being bold and brave enough to just chime in. I know you. Well, I just me. finished my run, so this is all I got. That's but, right. what you got for me. Of all the things you could have done, why why art? Wow, good question. And now, and my answer is going to probably uh, uh, trip you out a little bit. If I hadn't been, been an artist, I would have been a mortician. I know y'all say a mortician. How did wow. you get up there? I had a grandfather that was a pathology deaner and a cousin who was a mortician. And I had actually gone to work with both of them at different times in my life, except for being a pathology deaner, it required a lot more schooling. Mm -hmm. I thought about being a mortician for a little while. But after hanging out with him a couple times and some very, very strange spiritual things happened, I said, I'm going to stick with art. <laughs> okay. I of, never knew that about you. I asked me this is for to ask me some questions that you probably wouldn't ask. I thank you so much for tuning into the show today. We will uh, send you your, your, your brave gift. And I appreciate we'll that. That's right. Well, you know, and who knows? It might be all of the key holders all together. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Dave. We appreciate you tuning in and thank you for watching. Thank you. All right, now. That's what I'm talking about. You got to be brave out there, y'all. Wanda Leggins, one of my true friends and one of my avid collectors. If you find that link on the front of my uh, Facebook page, just visit that link, y'all. You might get a free prize for asking me an intelligent question. Item number eight. <clears throat> I'm going to show you item number eight because we showed this up for Mother's Day this past week. And we got so many likes on this piece. We thought we'd bring it up on the show. This piece is entitled Remarkable Journey. We have shown this before on the show. This is a, a print measure. It's 22 by 28 inches. It... Um, Normally sells for one hundred dollars. It's a limited edition of eight hundred and fifty. Was actually created for an organization called Remarkable Journey. It's a women's mentorship organization, and so we put this up for Mother's Day. We've got a really good response. If you would like to have this piece in your collection, this is item number eight, a piece called Remarkable Journey. It normally sells for one hundred dollars today on Ponchos Lawn number seventy one. You can get this piece for fifty dollars. If you like this piece. Just put item number eight and sold and remarkable journey will be coming your way. Uh, Ms. Lincoln says she got remarkable journey and she has to get it framed. That's what I'm talking about. I might have to get y'all to show me some of y'all frameworks as we get on into the summer because we plan to broadcast straight through the summer until y'all get tired of me. When I stop getting up people online, I'll stop showing up. But meanwhile, I'm here and you're here. So thank you for tuning in. Item number eight. And so, for those of you that miss Mother's Day, you want to give you about something, make a smile, this is it. This is Remarkable Journey. If you like that piece, just put item number eight and soul, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number nine. Let's see, we got a little bit of a technical thing happening here. Item number nine. You know, when technology is working, it's working. And sometimes we have problems where it's not working. So I wanted to figure out what's happening with our slideshow, which seems to be frozen. That's right, y'all. We stuck on item number eight. What happened? All right, y'all. So give me a little time. I'm going to do this right now while you guys are, you know, I did this thing on my Facebook page. Well, I showed everybody the before and after 
uh, some of my sketches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the something we call the sketch and the original while I resolve this small technical issue. that poncho i like that i like how you just just showed the before and after of all your drawings then i started getting into it i said let me stop listening to the music <laughs> how are you doing miss hills i am doing good i'm doing hey. good thank you for being so awesome right. i appreciate you thank you so you much. don't know you don't know how much i appreciate you poncho what oh, well, i appreciate you too darling. That's you know what poncho is so so humble that he won't tell everybody how much mentoring he does behind the scenes this brother he don't hold back any nuggets well you know i appreciate you darling because no i appreciate you more yeah folks don't have any idea the extracurricular stuff we do and a mentorship happens to be something that's very very important to me you know we've been knowing each other for 30 years yeah and nice to be able to lean on each other when we need to that's something that people don't know, and it happens a lot in the art business. That we well, I applaud you. So I applaud you. Thank you so much, sister. I appreciate you, girl. You're hey, welcome. Uh, well, I'm going to let you break the news, baby, because... Uh, I can't uh, yet, right? You can't? You can't tell him yet? Yes, you can. You can give him a teaser. I Come can? On. Yeah. 2024? That's right. 2024? That's right. 2024? That's right. <laughs> I want to tell it. That's right. That you ain't got to say. It. I'm gonna say it. Uh, you know, Shades Calendar has been producing my calendar for the last 15 or so years, and Miss Pamela Hills will be featured 2024. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! 
and you know, twenty four is a good number. Twenty four is a good number. That's the that's that's my birthday day. We were born the same year, same month. Yours the nineteenth, right? That's right. And I'm the twenty fourth. <laughs> I remember having this discussion like thirty years ago. You was like, well, I'm older than I'm older than you by five days. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and the way I came in, I had to be older than somebody. When you get <laughs> in the year, you are <laughs> the youngest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. I, I okay. Leak that. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna get back to the show, girl. We'll be talking to you. I do get a question. Yes, ma'am. What question you got for me? Poncho, Larry Poncho Brown, what is your least, least favorite medium to work with? Wow. This is going to surprise you. My least favorite medium is pencil. Wow. You know, I love pencil. It's my least favorite. Wow. Yeah, Good. that was a wowser. Yeah. That was a wowser. All right, sister. Well, cool. thanks again for tuning in. I have two brave folks today, y'all. Well, Lewis. by the way, you guys, the link is below the comments. Uh, it's it's an actual separate. It's not on this page. Thank Go you. out like how he said. Karen Buster's and, still looking for it. She's going to find it by the end of the show. <laughs> Karen, totally go out the page and look at the link. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's 45 minutes ago he posted it. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much, baby. Nice to see you, Pamela. Nice to see you. Take care, babe. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. We are moving and grooving and trying to be a little bit more interactive with the show and talking to some folks out there. I really appreciate you taking the time to tune in. Item number nine. I think we got our tech stuff working back. Item number nine is a piece called Love, Links, and Lineage. I did this piece originally for the Sickle Cell Association in um, Hartford, Connecticut. That's right, many, many years ago. If you look at the patterns in the fabric, that's actually the local to the Sickle Cell Association. I've done a lot of pieces for uh, Black Causes. This is one of them. This is a limited edition. It measures 22 by 31 inches. This piece is um, normally understand. retailed for $200, but today on Punchathon number 71, you can have this piece for just $100. That's right, love links and lineage for $100. If you like this piece, just put item number nine and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 10. Oh, this piece right here has been uh, part of my colorism series. It's, I, it consists of probably maybe 12 paintings, I believe. Black is Black was the first one, which is my most popular piece ever. Um, but this piece right here is part of that series. This piece can hang eight different ways. Hey, how does it hang different eight different ways, Poncho? Well, it doesn't actually hang like a square. It hangs like a diamond. But if you put all four faces, that's four directions there, four directions straight, eight different directions. So you can put the piece any way you want. Put two wires on it and switch it up if you want to. Understand that if you hang it as a diagonal, it's going to use up a lot more space. Back to geometry back in school. You know what I'm talking about. Item number 10. If you like this piece, Interdependence, just put item number 10 in the sold. This piece normally sells for $300. Adventures 27 by 27 inches. It's at 850 edition. Today, you can get this piece for $150 on Poncho Thaw number 71. If you like this piece, just put item number 10 and sold. And this piece will be added to your collection. That's right, y'all. We are moving into spring. So I want to see if I can get you guys to... I might have to have a contest where I... Uh, I, mean, I might have to see what y'all yards look like or something. I don't know. I say, what we got out here? We got a couple of people that just tuned into the show. Um, thanks again, Miss Leggins. Hey, Miss uh, Godfrey, thank you so much for checking in. Uh, yeah, I know that pencil thing got you, I'm sure. Hey, Miss Alan to Alice Tolan out of D.C. slash, I don't know, was it South Carolina? Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. Yes, you know, Interdependence is one of those pieces. If you got that in your collection, it's a really smooth piece. Hey, y'all, look. I know y'all been out there beautifying your yard. My sister is a, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I had a brown thumb. And my last name was Brown for a reason. Uh, my mother could grow stuff. My dad could grow stuff. My sister can grow stuff. And all I can do is eat stuff. So we designed something to decorate your yard. 
This is the Sisters Journey Garden Art, the large one. This one measures 24 inches from the bottom of the stake to the top of the head. Imagine having that in your bed of flowers, in your yard, in your large flower pot. That's what this piece is all about. Item number 11 is the Sisters Journey Garden Art Large. It only sells for $85. Today, you can get it on Poncho Thon number 71 for woo, $75, y'all. That's right. If you like that piece, just put item number 11 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right, y'all. You got to do something with that yard. You know what's so funny? COVID made a lot of y'all get in your yard and get that thing together. So <laughs> this would be a nice addition because you could put art more than what on the walls at your house. We are moving to a different section of the show. Your item number 12, we're getting into the G Clay pieces. This piece is entitled Nothing But the Blues. That's right, y'all. I love doing musical themes and bluesy, bluesy themes. This piece right here is part of my music series. I thought he was so cool looking. I know I abstract everything when I paint, uh, but this piece right here is called Nothing But the Blues. I have not shown it much on uh, Pancho Thon. This is a uh, 24 by 30 inch uh g clay print it normally sells for four hundred dollars but today on punch up gone 71 you can have it for two hundred dollars that's right y'all item number 12 if you like that just put item 12 in soul and this piece will be yours if you need something musical that's uh you need to got that drab little corner that needs a little bit of life this is the piece this piece right here has a lot of movement in it and uh i think you know it can go in your music room how's about that i know most of y'all got a music room somewhere Item number 12, and so in this piece, nothing but blues will be coming your way. Item number 13, another G. Clay. Part of my, uh, I did a whole series of nudes. This one is done in completely in palette knife, which is something I use a lot in my work. Item number 13. This piece is entitled Better Days Ahead. Better Days Ahead. It measures 24 by 30 inches. That's right, Charles. It's G. Clay that measures uh it, it's it, the the edition size is 62 and it retails for 400 dollars today on poncho thon number 71 you can have this piece for just 200 dollars. Yeah, you need a little new to write your house you know but that was a time when people wouldn't buy news at all but nowadays it's a different world so hey y'all we got somebody else in the studio i think she finally found it after all of that bumping around Hey, K-Y, the notorious K-Y-B. This is my partner in crime, y'all. If anybody if anybody knows the dirt on Poncho, it would be uh, Karen White Buster. But we, we, hopefully whatever she got to say is going to be PT-13. What's up, homegirl? I'm just happy to finally get here. I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank Pamela Hills for that. Because I know you were sitting on that page. Oh, where's the link? Where's the link? I can't find the link. <laughs> you, you know me very well. You know me very well. Love All me. right. So uh, what you got for me? Talk have, to me. What you got? Uh, uh, no, no major questions. I just want to just share, share some love, bro. You know, you've always been my big brother and my little brother at the same darn time. That's right. And it, you're always reinventing that wheel. You would be reinventing. This is this is the next step to Facebook Live. You know, you amaze me, and I'm I stayed maybe three steps behind you. You know, well, I, 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 I have, you know I have to keep moving or I get bored with myself. <laughs> go through, go through. So yeah, I know you gotta have an intelligent question because you've been knowing me probably longer than everybody's tuned in outside of my sister. So ask me a question that you have never asked me before. Ha! Where is well, remember this is only an hour show, an hour and 15 minute show. <laughs> you wrong for that. Where, <laughs> where is where was the most exciting place that you have ever traveled in your career? Wow. You know, I'm kind of a deadbeat, so I I don't hit the excited category much. Um, what I will say is that most Caribbean water places are the exciting places that I've traveled to. 
So I've traveled, traveled all through the Caribbean, either through uh, just my normal travel or cruises. Um, but yeah, I think the Caribbean would be that spot. Um, I like going to Africa, but Africa doesn't, it's a different kind of uh, stimulation for me. Correct. Cool. Well, thank you for tuning in. It took you a half an hour to get there, but it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there. Hey, I got some people out there that uh, were curious about the Delta Convention. So tell them about the Delta Convention. This is the, this is the Delta Extraordinaire. Over, I'm trying to get my fingers right. Over there is the Delta Queen right there. Tell me, uh, tell the people out there when the Delta Convention is going to be. Well, we're actually going to be doing the Eastern Regional at the, at the National Harbor. And it's going to be... Um, September the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Um, don't know where our booth is going to be, but, you know, Poncho and I have been sharing the booth probably at the convention for the last 15 years or more. And um, we make it work. Our work comes together. It's a whole lot of red and white and then and it's our little two black lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, girl. This is my partner in crime right here. Hey, girl. Uh, now that you found your way in, uh, hopefully I'll see you on another show. Uh, you'll know exactly what to do next time. Yeah, at, at least fifteen minutes into the show, instead of like forty-five. That's so like, okay. It's right. it's the fact that you made it. Thank you, KYB, for tuning in. Hey, y'all, that's my partner right there, y'all. So, <laughs> hey, we're gonna get right back into the swing of things. We're trying to make this thing more interactive. I keep telling you, item number thirteen again. For those of you that missed it is a piece called Better Days Ahead. It is 24 by 30 inches. It uh, normally sells for $400. Today on Panchathon number 71, you can get this piece for $200. If you need that nice little tranquil piece, you want that man on your wall that's not going to argue with you, this is him, item number 13, and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Item number 14. You know, this piece right here was actually... Uh, what can I say? My buddy Charles Bibb stole this piece from me. Um, we do that to each other as artists. And I think I, I think I stole, I don't think I ever stole Karen's work. Um, I think I probably stole Deborah Shedrick's work, though. I stole something out her yard that she didn't realize I had. It's just something we do. We don't mean no harm. Uh, but he's got this piece of, in his wall at home. This piece right here is called Real Love. That's right, y'all. Real Love. If you like this piece, just put item number 14 and sold, it normally sells for $400. It's a G clay that measures 24 by 30 inches. That's right, y'all, today on Punchathon number 71. You can get this piece for just $200. If you like this piece, just put item number 14 and sold, and real love will be coming your way. Hey, y'all, guess what time it is? It's time for me to get you guys, you know, we have the undisputed Trivia question, Queen, this uh, Charlotte Johnson. I mean, Miss uh, Carolyn Johnson, she's been a person that's been getting it. She's got a full week straight. That's right, y'all. I got a trivia question for you. Uh, let's see, how deep should I get? All right, this is, this is, this is something you got to get your Google fingers ready for. Are you ready for the trivia question for the day, y'all? All right, here we go. <coughs> <clears throat> what mayor of what city proclaimed Larry Poncho Brown Day in 1980, 1998? I'll ask the question again. What mayor of what city proclaimed Larry Poncho Brown Day in 1998? I need the full answer, including the mayor's name and the city. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and Google your fingers off while we get back to the show. Item number 14 is a wonderful piece if you need something that reflects love. Item number 15, you know, with the piece we did earlier in the show called Remarkable Journey, sometimes when I do pieces, uh, the client will ask, I usually submit three ideas to a client, right? In the case of uh, that uh, Remarkable Journey project, I submitted three sketches. This was actually one of the reject sketches. Sometimes I will paint the reject sketches for myself. Okay, so that's why you see the same theme with the women. This is not as generational as the other one. This is more about a group of women. 
and you see the butterfly, which is a symbol of transformation. This piece right here is entitled Black Butterfly. And yes, I listened to the song while I was painting this. Black Butterfly <clears throat> measures 24 by 30 inches. It only sells for $400 today on Punch Thon number 71. You can get Black Butterfly for just, woo, $200. That's right, y'all. If you like this piece and you need some deep paint on your wall, just put item number 15 and soul in that piece will be coming your way. All right, y'all. Y'all heard the trivia question. I'm waiting for, oh, there it is again. Lord have mercy. The fifth week in a row is Miss Carolyn Johnson. I don't know what this woman's doing. She probably in the corner of my studio. I don't know how she does it. I don't know what reference she uses. She must have the baddest version of, of uh, Google search than anybody I know. Or I think I know what's happening. Miss Cleveland found a special page is hiding in cyberspace. Only a very few people know about that page. Congratulations, Miss Carolyn Johnson. You are the undisputed champion. Five weeks straight with the correct answer. We will be sending you another gift, Miss Johnson. Thank you so much for participating and thank you so much for that correct answer. That's right, y'all. Item number 15 and sold in this piece will be coming your way for just $200. Hey, you know what looks good too? Having both of those two pieces in a similar area. I know 15 is sold, and that piece is coming your way. Hey, this is something we have not shown much on the show. As a matter of fact, I want her to be full screen so you can see her. This one is titled Little Rainbow of Faith. This is an older piece. Probably did this back in the early 90s. Um, little girl in, in a dark room, a church with a stained glass reflecting on her. This piece right here is, I think, the first time we've shown this on Punchathon. Item number 16 is called Little Rainbow of Faith. It measures 24 by 30 inches. The cost is normally $400. It's a 62 edition. Today on Punchathon number 71, you can have this piece for just, that's right, y'all, $250. No, I'm sorry, $200. That's right. Item number 16, Little Rainbow of Faith. A 62 edition. Hey, y'all, why do I number my edition 62? Pamela Hill is probably the only one to know that. But item number 16, y'all, very, very nice piece. If you need a little spiritual piece, that you might have a, a, a little young lady in the house who might need to see this piece. Item number 16 and sold, and this piece will be coming your way for just $200. All right, y'all, we got some this real special and rare. Wow, this piece goes way back. This was the very first piece of my Perseverance series. This piece is titled, there you go, Miss Pamela Hills understands why my editions are 62. It was the year we were born. Absolutely right. That's right, y'all. You got it. That's right. And uh, see, all my, my real people know me. I'm surprised my sister didn't chime in on that one, but she's probably trying to be nice and not give up the answers so she know everything about me pretty much. Item number 17 is a piece called The Blackness. The Blackness came out in the in the early 90s. This piece was, it, when I first introduced it, it just, people weren't ready for it. It was different at that particular time. Um, the question with this piece is, is he in bondage? Is he not in bondage? The question is, what do you see? Do you see vulnerability? Do you see strength? Do you see oppression? What do you see? Now, I did this piece in two different versions. I did one with a white background, one with a black background. I can tell you that the one with the black background has a very, very different feel. But this was one of the first pieces of my Perseverance series. This is um, the original um, edition was 850. They sold out. A long time ago if you got this piece it has really appreciated quite a much what we did was we released this as a g clay a 100 g clay at that this piece normally would sell for and this if you decide to order this piece it's going to be a low number because we just introduced it like the latter part of last year item number 17 is the blackness g clay it measures 24 by 30 inches it normally sells for 500 dollars but today on poncho thon number 71 
you can get this piece for just $250. That's right. If you want a low number, G Clay, that's right. Um, that's right. Just put item number 17 and so and you can secure this very, very popular image um, for your collection. Hey, y'all, I told y'all that's why my sister didn't chime in. She said she thought she was banned from the trivia segment. No, you're not banned for the trivia section. As a matter of fact, uh, I know that's not fair, baby sister. But yeah, no, you are you are not banned from a question unless I start the question off and say, Jackie, you can't answer this. <laughs> How's about that? New house rules. No, Jackie, you are not banned. Item number 17, y'all. If you like that piece, just put item number 17 and sold. And that piece will be added to your collection. Item number 18. This piece is very, very, very rare. It is a serograph print that I put out in the 1990s. My partner in crime, uh, uh, Karen Buster, does this high uh, contrast black and white artwork. But this was pretty much done in a similar technique than what she uses to do this. This piece is entitled Precious Moments, the serograph. It measures 22 by 30 inches. It's 30, 60, it's 62 of these in the edition. These are early so screen pieces. That's right, your this is a very, very early so screen piece. Very rare in my collection. I've only sold a few of these pieces. I've been kind of holding these pieces back for the show. We only have two of these available. But if you're watching the show, you've been looking for that one piece that's kind of rare that people won't have. This is probably it. Precious Moments, the serograph print. It normally sells for $500. Today on Punchathon number 71, you can have this piece for $250. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. That's right, your item number 18 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Oh, you know, I got something exciting coming up for y'all. Item number 19. All right, y'all. So I'm working on this new project, right? <clears throat> As you know, I went to Ghana this summer. I mean, earlier this year. I did um, decided I was going to do sketches of the children while I was there, but somehow I, I took my iPad with me and I decided I was going to do these digital renderings of them because it would be a little bit faster. I could turn them around a little faster. And so what I did is I took pictures of all the children and I, I went and I did these, these digital illustrations on my iPad with them. Had no idea when I started this 40 something pictures later that this image, these images would be um, introduced and doing right very, very, very well. What I'm, what, this is part, I gave you the information early in the show about this exhibition, but let me explain to you the specialness of this. It costs about $100 for a child to be sponsored for a year. And me and my friends out there did a lot of sponsoring while I was in Africa. They did this online. They bought uh, um, a lot of uh, artwork to support the artist. They also donated money to sponsor children. And so if you can imagine, you know, how you could spend $100 going to dinner, right? So what I thought I'd do is, okay, I'm going to do a series of each one of these pieces of, of children. I'm going to sell them for a nominal fee. And then I'm going to give $100 for every painting we sell to Bridge, the Bridge uh, to Africa Connection, which is the organization that I worked with when I was in Africa in January. Imagine that now. You can have a piece that reflects what you what you donated, and your one hundred dollars will sponsor a child for one whole year. That's uniforms, books, everything. That's right, y'all. We live in a different world, and sometimes the little things we do here translate to bigger things in other places. Item number nineteen is the first piece that we're offering from that series. It consists of forty paintings. If you want to see the remaining of those paintings, go to my website at LarryPunchBrown.net and you can see these pieces. Item number 19 is Daniel. That's right, Daniel. Daniel sells for $250. It's a stretch canvas piece. If you decide to get this piece, $100 will be donated to a student in Africa. That's right, y'all. Item number 24, I mean, item number 19 is 24 by 20 inches. It comes on canvas. That's right, y'all. Daniel is available, item number 19. If you like Daniel and you want to support this project, just put item number 19 and sold. And Daniel will be coming to you and $100 will be donated to the Bridges Con um, to Africa Connection 
Item number 19 and sold. And that piece will be yours for 250 Item number 20 has another piece from the series. These children just were, I mean, I, I, the, beauty is a standard that they struggle with. Um, feeling important is something that they struggle with. Um, I wanted to draw these pictures of them so they could see their beauty, you know. They have a standard of beauty that you that, that that's influenced by European um, and Western influences. It's just like it's happening here in the U.S. They have the same kind of influences there, but they're younger children. Everybody's now trying to come up with today's generation on social networking. So that's why I think these pieces were so on point. I'm glad they came out the way they came out. Item number 20 is Grace. Grace T. That's right. Grace Measures 24 by 20 inches. You can have her for just $250 and $100 will be donated to the Bridges whew, to Africa Connection. That's right, y'all. Trying to do some different things, trying to inspire some different people, trying to support some different type projects. If you like this piece, just put item number 20 and sold and grace will be added to your collection. How These pieces will probably take about a week for you to receive them. All right, y'all, we are getting to the last part of the show where we begin to introduce you to some of our original works. Yes, we are still cooking up an original show that's going to happen uh, before this month is over, y'all. That's right. We are working on getting that show together for you. It's going to be an entire show dedicated to original pieces. No, <laughs> there will not be Poncho Thon prices on those pieces. They will be priced just as they are, but we will be showing you pieces that Wow, I mean, I got so many pieces in the studio that you can be introduced to, and we're going to do a show dedicated exclusively to original pieces because I've been having a lot of my collectors asking me for something like that. So let's get ready to count down to the originals for the end of the show. Item number 21 is a drawing. Hey, Pamela Hill said, hey, Pancho, what is the medium you don't like? Pencil. Item 21 is a pencil series that I did. These are from sketchbooks. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I collect for myself. I collect lots of pencil sketches, drawings, ink drawings. And hey, y'all, guess what? I'm going to be coming to an area close to you uh, in the next few months because we're doing a whole show where I show with my portfolios and show you what's in them. This is going to be the portfolio tour. We're getting ready to launch this. We got our first stop scheduled for June 11th in Maryland at a collector's house. I'm going to show it with about three portfolios and um, show a bunch of original art. So be looking out for that on my Facebook pages and all of my other social media. Look up the portfolio tour. You can go to Eventbrite or e Evite to get details about this show. Item number 21. It's a piece called Bongo Solo. Bongo Solo. You know, I had a pair of bongos when I was young. Probably still got them in the basement somewhere. Item number 21. That's right, y'all. So pencil drawing is five by seven inches. These pieces are the kind of pieces that nobody will have. Sometimes these pieces are prerequisites to larger pieces, and sometimes these are just ideas I got out of my head at that time. This piece right here retails for $500 today on Poncho Thon. You can get an original sketch. An original sketch, y'all. What? Don't sleep on this. An original sketch for $250. If you like and you want something that's going to be set off in your collection, item number 21, Bongo Solo, can be yours for just $250 on Poncho Thon number 71. Item number 21 and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection. Item number 22 was in that same sketchbook. It's called Conga. That's right, y'all. The conga solo. That's right. I did a bongo and a conga. I had a conga, too. Still got it. That's right. Item number 22, y'all. If you like that piece, these two pieces would make excellent series together, too, in a, in a small frame or two separate frames. Item number 22 is conga solo. This normally would sell for $500. Its uh, size is 7 by 5 inches from my sketchbooks. Item number 500. I mean, item number 22. It's $500 today on Punch of Thunder 71. You can have this piece for just 
$250. Item 22 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 23 is from my metal series. These are all of my Repose pieces. This piece right here is a piece called Favor. Favor is actually etched in copper. That's right. Remember when you were in kindergarten? And they bought that aluminum foil out and they made you draw something in the aluminum foil and then they came back and gave you some paint and you could put paint on it and then wipe off the top areas. This is that same technique using real metal. That's right, y'all. This piece right here, it measures um, it measures about 9 by 12, but it's framed. So if you decide you like this piece and want to add to your collection, understand you have to add an additional $40 for shipping and handling. The overall size is 16 by 20. That's right. Piece sells for $1,200. But today on Puncher Thunder 71, you can have this piece for just $650. That's right. That is the framed price chart. That is wholesale, baby. That means my dealers get it at that price. Item number 23, if you like that piece, favor. That's right, favor. That eye of God in the background showing favor. There you go, y'all. Item number 23 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way. Item number 24. I had to dig back and in deep into the portfolio cases and in the flat files to find this one. This was actually done during a creative quarantine with my big brother, Charles Bibbs. This piece right here is using toner ink. That's right. We took a, a G clay ink out of a machine we took some Chinese brushes, I mean, some Japanese brushes, not Chinese brushes, and we just did these really loose masks. I did about three of them, uh, accented with black ink, where the colors overlap, they turn different colors. This piece right here is called Mask, Masquerade Number Three. Masquerade, I think we sold Masquerade Number One. I think that's in the collection of Tony Jones. That's right, if you're watching Tony Jones. Uh, this piece right here measures 22 by 30 inches. Yes, that's what you're looking for, things that are not common, the things you have not seen from yours truly. Item 24 is one of those pieces. If you like Masquerade number three, it normally sells for $1,500. Today on Poncho Thon number 71, you can get this piece for just $750. This is an unframed piece. Remember, all of these are the only ones on planet Earth. I will tell you that uh, all of the pieces in the original section this uh, on today's show will not be published. Item number 24, if you like that piece, just put item number 24 and sold. And masquerade number three will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 25, our last offering for the day. News, news everywhere. That's right. This piece is entitled Fancy Free, number three. Fancy Free, number three. Part of the series. This piece is done mixed media, but it's mostly um, watercolor and oil pastel. Weird combination, but I do it every now and then. Item number 25. It measures 22 by 30 inches. It normally sells for two thousand dollars today on punchathon number 71 you can get fancy free number three for one thousand dollars if you want that piece just put item number 25 and sold and this piece will be added to your collection that's right y'all we are coming to the end of another day we appreciate all of you guys coming in and, and, and spending some time with us uh, I hope I don't get offended by my pronouns, y'all. I still say some things the old school way. You know how it is. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in to the show today. Lots of wonderful things that were unique on the show. I want to thank all of my brave folks that tuned in by video today. We appreciate you. We're going to try to do that again on the next show. Hey, <laughs> Carolyn Johnson is the undisputed trivia question champion five weeks in a row. That's what I'm talking about. This lady probably know me better than I do. I want to thank you all for tuning in, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a sponsor already. We appreciate you. And you're one of the ones that supported us while we were in Ghana earlier this year. Hey, Lyle. Hey, that's right. You get a chance to watch the video. We missed the martini that you were going to be drinking today. Hey, Miss Charlotte Vincent. 
21 and 22. You got it. We're going to tell that. You know what, Charlotte? Two excellent buys. Two excellent buys. That's all I'll say. Hey, Jackie, good night. And next time, remember, you are not banned from trivia. And the notorious KYB, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, she did make it. She did make it on the show. Hey, y'all, you know what's up. We're living in some volatile times, but that's okay. We got to keep smiling, keep it moving, and keep being positive. Hey, y'all, also, do your best to tune in and keep your creativity moving. Because some of y'all have been putting off some of the things you've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And I'm going to tell you, y'all, this is the time to do it. That's right. Until next time, y'all, you know there will be a next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Know that I love you, and I will see you next hump day.